Happy New Year! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming in sweatpants because guess what? I've been in sweatpants the whole day because guess what? It's holidays. For the past like I think two hours I've just been laying in my bed first reading for the first hour. I know what a millennial reads the second hour <laughs> I've been watching YouTube videos and then uh, I thought hey I literally haven't done anything today even though it's the 30th and tomorrow's the 31st which means it's a <laughs> Can I English? I cannot. I literally am all over the place today. Alright, alright. I need to meditate for a second. That is like the biggest day for me, for my family, because it's like kind of like Christmas day for you guys. Um, I don't want to make this video very long, and I'm pretty sure it's already like 2,000 hours long. Yeah! I'm really hyper and excited, as you can't tell for tomorrow. So, let's just get started. I'm going to read through some of these resolutions, because let's be honest, some of these are, are extremely dumb. Just get started. So these are my resolutions for 2018. Can I just say that 2018 has been a sh year? Um, I know I don't swear, I'm gonna have to bleep about that. I don't even want to read these because these are gonna be like, oh my god. These are gonna be like so cringy and ew. When you actually think you're gonna get your life together, but you never will. My first New Year's resolution from last year was uh, be involved in sports plus work out. Um, I definitely have not been involved in a lot of sport. I I hate like, I really don't like like team sports like football or basketball or like other school sports. But to be honest, I've actually been pretty good at working out. I pretty much worked out the whole summer. I worked out during spring. Lately, I've been slacking off because of school, but um, after New Year's, I'm going to get back into the habit of working out, doing like small workouts because let me tell you, I need to start doing that again. Number two was learn more about photography. Oh wow, I can actually check this off. Wait, I should be taking these off, shouldn't I? Eh, I'm too lazy to get a pen. Um, but I did actually learn more about photography this year because I'm taking photography classes since uh, the start of the school year. So I've already kind of accomplished these two resolutions, so pretty happy. Other one, uh, learn to edit videos more professionally. Um, I mean, I... I can definitely like tell a difference. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like I've just learned a couple of things about the lighting. I've learned about like editing techniques. I've been I've been like trying to, especially during the summer, I tried to make them more interesting, include more memes and like videos and music. Um, lately, it's been harder to do that, uh, especially during school time. Well, I've literally not done YouTube since school started. Another one: reply to my friends faster. Definitely, definitely need to work on that, and that is definitely my new year's resolution for this year because i don't know why but i guess just because of all no you know what i'm not even going to excuse myself because no matter how much stuff happens in your life you need to reply to your friends and i've really been so bad at that this year like so bad like really work on that this year especially because i have like friends back in switzerland i have friends here and just like I know myself and like when I have just a lot of stuff going on, I just think like, oh yeah, like I, I'm not the type of person that wants to reply, reply like really quickly because I feel like th that's just like not respecting the other person and I like to take my time with replying and like properly like give an update about like my whole life and everything and that takes a really long time. Like I send voice messages, I send paragraphs and that's just like how me and my friends text and how we stay in touch. I know it might sound weird to some people but that's just the way we do it. I don't know, I've just been like really, really especially lately like after the, like during the exams and everything, I've just been so bad at replying and like even this morning I was like, okay, I have to like reply to my friends on whatsapp like tonight and then i didn't do it yesterday i'm probably not gonna do it today but then like tomorrow's like the new year's so and oh my god i really need to learn how to reply to people faster the uh, the next two kind of like tied together is try making more friends and like be more open with people uh i hate to admit this okay no actually you know what i did make quite a few new friends this year and i'm actually like pretty proud of myself and like it's mostly like i've met new people through like my other friends which I know isn't like exactly the resolution because the resolution was like meeting people myself but I mean like hey it's still like an improvement for me because the thing is I'm very open and social with like my friends that I already have and like also I'm not really embarrassed in front of other people but like making actually like actually making new friends is hard for me so like 
when other people introduce me to like people or to friends like i'm really grateful because i don't know why it's just like that one part of life of like socializing which i just can't deal with i'm just like i don't know i get scared i have these dumb thoughts i don't know maybe not dumb i don't know i just get, get scared like oh i don't think they like me um like i don't think like we match i don't like i always get a feeling that like i'm annoying that person and i hate that feeling but i just can't help it and it's like mostly it's not the case because they probably just don't even know me because i'm so scared of like talking to them but oh another one was keep a steady uploading schedule <laughs> yeah that didn't happen um i mean during the first part of the year wait no i want to say until august i was like really good and like i uploaded videos i tried keeping like making uh, a video a week during the summer i think i even made more than that but oh my god like when school started honestly i just <sighs> i forgot about youtube i just had so much on my plate family friends school i just couldn't keep up so like making youtube videos was really not my priority uh the last one was to read more uh, books and uh, like more actual books <laughs> what this means is like i read a lot of books on my phone like on wattpad and just like online but then like i don't read like in like <laughs> like real life like physical books so that was like my resolution and honestly i think i did like a pretty good job of that so yeah i'm happy about that these were like the main ones and honestly i think i did a pretty good job with all of these usually before i would put like work out and like read and like i don't know like do some other stuff and it would never actually like i would never do it but like this year i feel like i actually accomplished stuff because even though it was a shit year um i still managed to get myself together somehow so <clears throat> i'm going to go through this year's resolutions i'm not going to go through all of them because some of them are kind of personal i don't know but i'm just going to still like go through them um okay so the first one is <laughs> i feel like i er, this is like everyone's first resolution and it's workout and i have like a weight written down but like you guys don't care about that um but i want to work out more especially like after the holidays i've really been slacking and i really need to get back on the game because like I, during the summer i was like at my happiest i ever was with like my body and i really need to get back to that so I need to start doing that again. The second one is be more open and communicate with people. This is something I already discussed and I really need to like improve on that. And I know that I'm not like the most awkward social, I'm not the most socially awkward person. Like I, I don't really have a problem like coming up to, to a person like just start talking with them. But like, like, like I just explained, I really need to like, I don't know, show myself more in like an environment and i really need to improve on that another resolution it doesn't really depend from me but i i really want to visit switzerland this year i haven't visited switzerland for a whole year and some of you guys may know it's where my sister is it's where my closest friends are and i feel like if i won't visit switzerland this year i'll actually go insane like i miss a couple of people from there so much that i, I just i kind of already made a promise uh to those people that i'll visit so I really, 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 really hope I get that chance. Another New Year's resolution is, this might seem a little bit narcissistic. Is that even a word? Okay, I, I'm definitely not saying that right, right? But I really want to try and reach 2K this year. I don't know if this is going to happen, honestly. It pretty much depends on like how much work I put into my YouTube channel and I don't know i just don't want to like be like oh yeah obviously i'm going to reach it so i want to try hard and reach 2k this year because i just i was so happy this summer when i reached 1k because i don't even really care about the numbers but it's just like it's a goal for me that i wasn't ever like even imagining to reach another thing which i already kind of talked about is to reply to friends faster i already explained that i really need to work on that especially to like some of my closest friends i would like to read more books in russian this year ah <sighs> i love reading you guys like i really genuinely enjoy it and when i have the time it's like the, my favorite thing to do like besides from like art makeup photography that is like one of my hobbies because it's just like i don't know if especially when you have a good book you know when you're just like so involved in it and you can't put it down like i love that feeling uh books that i have to read for school but i haven't like until this day read a book that i actually enjoyed for in russian and I don't know that's like i feel like that is one of the reasons why i'm kind of like repulsed to reading in russian because you know like reading in russian for me is like classic books which i mean i'm not saying i hate classic books but like 
I just enjoy them less than what I choose to read myself, you know? Then the next couple of resolutions are honestly like kind of boring and personal. But another resolution which I have is practice more photography and makeup. And that is just basically like taking the same from last year because I feel like I've improved like this year already and I just can't wait to see how much I improve uh, next year if I like practice more. Uh, then the next resolution is focus uh, more on myself. And this is like kind of, seems like kind of like a sad and like weird resolution, but I feel like this year I've just like been helping. Okay, I don't want it to be like, oh my God, I help everyone. But the problem with me sometimes is I help others or like I, I just take like other people's problems on myself. And especially like to my closest friends and like family members, if they're experiencing something, I'll experience that with them. I just like start freaking out and I'm just very sad and depressed and like my mood depends a lot on other people. And, and this year like I really want to learn how to like focus more on myself and of course like I'm not saying like stop helping other people or like care less about my friends because that will never happen. I'll always care a lot about my friends. But what I mean by that is I just want to like <clears throat> somehow learn to like understand like oh that's like affecting me negatively i want to learn not to like take that up on myself if you know what i mean the last one is pass all my exams like with a good grade uh, obviously what i mean by that is i have like huge exams at the end of this year for russian and for english and honest i'm not gonna lie i'm more nervous about my russian exams because this is like the second year i've like properly been r learning russian and being on a russian program and it's been like really really tough for me like the toughest school years I've ever had and I just really really want to pass it because and I don't mean the, like the perfect grade that I just know that that's not going to happen it doesn't mean that I'm not trying because like if I don't pass it would just be like really crushing and heartbreaking because that would just show that I haven't tried enough and that all of that work like sitting all over there and having like millions of breakdowns that it hasn't paid off and uh, I just don't want to feel that if you know what I mean. 2018 has been the best terrible year of my life <laughs> or something like that but honestly 2018 uh, it's been a tough year I'm not gonna lie for me emotionally like it has been a roller coaster there were moments when I was so happy and there are also moments when i was so sad there are moments when i was so grateful to be alive and so grateful like and just so happy to live and appreciating life but there were also moments when honestly i just wanted to curl up in a bowl on my bed and just like never see the world again but at the same time i feel like this year i've really like i, I just feel like i've matured i just compare myself at 15 and at 16 and i just see like a major difference i've also learned to think about other people more which is a bad and a good thing at the same time so yeah 2018 i'm happy to be saying goodbye to you but at the same time it has taught me many things so i'm grateful and i am really mad at 2018 because it's brought a lot of pain but it also taught many lessons so I'm just really like I'm waiting for 2019 with open arms. I hope you guys had better 2018 than I had. Please tell me in the comments down below how 2018 was for you. Was it a good year? Was it a bad year? Um, and also tell me what you're looking forward to in 2019. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed my New Year's resolutions and I'll see you guys very, very, very soon. Bye bye.